not a lot today. Not a whole lot. I have a day, but, um, yeah. Didn't get the headset from my friend. This is just my headphones. <coughs> so, okay, we'll get started. How's uh, how's that sound now? Does everything sound all right? Basically, um, I played Zoma, Brian, I played his, uh, I played his fox the other day, Fox Wolf, and basically what you want to do when you're fox against Wolf, or against a lot of characters, is just smother them with pressure, because like, I couldn't, and this might just be me, because I couldn't, like, shine out a shield super fast or anything, and, um, I couldn't shine out a shield fast enough, so I would just get, like, nair shined, and... Like, his aerials beat everything, which is just dumb. So, uh... So, what, that's basically what you want to do, is just smother with pressure. And, like, not mindless pressure, but you need to be smart about it. You do need to be smart about it. So that's basically what I learned, is just I was having a hard time getting around it. And, like, because Fox's aerials, and all have, they're faster than Wolf. So like, they're, most of them, at least, are safe on shield, and... Um, I believe Alex, the other wolf guy from Tennessee, said that the only aerial wolf has that shit safe on shield is, uh, Nair. And, I mean, I guess you can pressure really good, but I mean, that's not going to be really easy for wolves to do. So, basically, Fox, or, um, Fox Falco versus Wolf basically comes down to the fact that Fox and Falco do things a lot more efficiently than Wolf do, does them. And so that makes it really hard for Wolf to get in, as compared to Fox Falco. Just because, like, Falco Shine is Falco Shine, and Fox's Shine will put you in a knockdown at, like, zero, which is dumb, but whatever. Okay, nice Nair, nice forward smash read. Mm, had the right idea with that down smash, but. And there's the Wolf Cheese. Oh, that's dirty. <laughs> <coughs> Okay, here it is. I okay, went for a jab reset, missed it. Tried to do it, I guess, an intimidating walk up or whatever. And Will's messing with the with the layout a little bit. But, okay. So yeah, you got back. That was good. Good. Usually go for the ledge and not the stage. Had that cover really good with back there. That was good. Uh. Let's see, nice sharking with the up airs. I mean, up throw, up tilt, yeah, that was good. Misspaced on that up smash, but you had the read. Back air. Okay, that was like a pal up smash where it didn't do what I wanted it to, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Ran into the back air. That always sucks. Okay, 
down smash tank. Okay. See, I think just some simple things like a, a wave dash back. Like, look what I, I got like a 50% combo off of that, off that wave dash back. I'm like, um, I just think so. Like, cause that's what she, like that's pretty much how Chillin beat Ken back in the day. Is he like nared him across the stage, then he ran up, and he baited like a forward air, and he just wave dashed back, up smashed him, won won the set because of that. It's like really really simple intricate things like that are actually a lot more important than what people might think. I oh wave dash back, big deal. Well, I mean, that's a free fifty percent I got off of um off of that wave dash back to shine like. It doesn't have to be the forefront of metagame or anything, but I think it's something that people definitely need to... I think that's a kind of a bread and butter tech skill thing that people need to learn just because... Unless you're Luigi, because then you're not going to follow up on it because you wave dash away so far. But I, um, there should definitely be a lot of... I think there should be a lot of wave dash back use just because there were a lot of people I got this weekend at this tournament with wave dash back and just to whatever punish because they think oh, okay he's coming in I'll just get up attack and knock him off me because those like, put you in a tumble at zero or something so I'll um so you can just wave dash back if they're a high percent get up attack easy if you're fox run in up smash if you're wolf forward smash down smash whatever you're gonna kill them if they're at the edge or something and if not if they're not a high percent you can't kill them okay well then just like combo them I mean, just because a lot of people don't really think that um a lot of people don't really think that uh, it's maybe a lot of people don't think it's as useful as other things, but I actually find it very, very useful. But that's just me. I mean, look at that. That was like something to 87, and you don't want to be at 87. Okay, edge game. I think Shine Gimps are also something really big against Wolf and Falco Shine. Perfect. Yeah, Shine Out Shield really strong just because it's a good fast get, get off me. Okay, that's good. Good power shield on that. Good read on a dash attack and not a grab. Going a little deep there, but see, um, you might. I don't know if you were looking at it now or when we were playing. You might think, why? Why would? Why did he do that? Why did he just randomly go that deep? Well, it's because the thing is that if um, you went like straight for the ledge, I would have clipped you with that up air, and I either would have knocked you so far away you couldn't hit, you couldn't like punish me on my bad, would have been bad recovery, or I would have hit you with that weird angle that would send you further from the stage and you may 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 or may not if you've recovered you wouldn't have made a you wouldn't have been very safe but if you didn't you're dead so that's that's kind of a go for it thing because um, with the way you recovered you weren't really fat I don't think hold on a second let me, let me see I don't think yeah you weren't fast enough to be able to punish me after I grabbed the ledge so basically, that was kind of a that was a win-win situation for me because if I hit you, if I hit you towards the stage, you wouldn't have made it back. You wouldn't have got to me in time because you would have been knocked really far. Uh, if I hit you off the stage, you're probably dead. If I missed, you didn't make it back in time to punish me when I grabbed the ledge. But you almost killed me. Okay, you had a good you had a good idea there. I think too, like those texts, those stage texts like that are like really really. A lot more important, because, I mean, if you take that, you definitely would have lived, which I really th thought you were about to live anyways, but, first of all, that's just one thing that will distinguish you as a, as a very reactive player, and like you said, your reaction time is not as, as good as mine, so that leads me to believe that it's not incredible, but I don't think mine's incredible either, in some, well, in, like, stage spike scenarios, but, um... But uh, just I think that's because like a lot of melee care players will get those techs a lot and they'll save themselves from it, and that just shows you how big of a deal it is. Because I mean they look good and all, and that's just something that you can say, man, he really doesn't miss those techs, and that's kind of a bigger deal than you th might think. But I think yeah, get, try and get those techs. Easier said than done, but still I think it's something that we should all work on if we don't consistently get those techs. And, yeah, uh, Wolf against Spacey's never full hop out of your shines because you're not going to hit them in time. Unless you get lucky like I did just there. Good forward smash, you clipped me on that wave dash back. I don't know if that was a read, but either way you clipped me. That was good. And my dog's walking. Uh, 
Okay, good side B you caught me there, so you didn't get punished. Nice jab up smash, but it's Dreamland, so it didn't really matter. Mm, good falling back air, and I'm not coming back. No. See, and that's also the thing about the little thing I told you a while back when you shine, you know, like reverse your momentum. See, if you weren't on the ledge, I would have made that back. I would have grabbed the ledge. But if I didn't shine, I wouldn't have come close. Like, that's how big a deal it was. Like, if you hadn't grabbed that ledge there, um,. I could have come back, and that would have been potential three stock. But since you since you held on to the ledge, it didn't matter. But if I didn't shine, it wouldn't matter at all. So I think um, just try, just do try and I I know Chillin was um, Chillin told me like two weeks in a row every time he critiqued my match, dude, you gotta get that shine. He'd say it every single time. And then I started doing. I thought, whatever. Then I started doing it, and then I realized, oh my goodness, this is saving me so much. Like you're recovering so much better because of that because just uh, if your space if you're off the stage that's not where you want to be so if you um if you're uh to the more you the, cl the better chances you have of getting back on the stage even with wolf's laggy recovery i mean that's still you're back on the stage and you don't want to be off the stage as a spacey without a jump but Good recovery. Could have gone, could have tournament winner right into me, but that was in uh, Dreamland. You lived, and down throw is actually kind of an iffy throw. Shine out shield, this side B. That feels that feels good whenever I actually hit it, which is not that often. But this is what I've config figured in a, a wolf versus other spaces. Basically, it comes down to wolf gets bodied in the neutral. But once you get like mid percents, once you get like mid percents, and he gets in, you're probably gonna die unless he messes up. And because um, Falco Wolf is probably 50-50, uh, Fox Wolf is 55-45 to Fox. I'd have to say maybe 60-40. I don't know. I just have to get better with Wolf against other spaces. And you picked the second best color, so you did good there. Behind the blue color. No, I actually think the black is the best looking color, but I like the blue the most, because everyone uses black. But yeah, basically, this is just who combo. This matchup right here is basically who combos who harder. And this is definitely a wolf stage. It's, it's, just, it's, it's good for spaces and melee, so it's going to be good for wolf, considering wolf is the hybrid of... Wolf is the hybrid of fox, falco, and falcon. Literally, the only thing he gets from Fox is Nair, which is Drill. Because, I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier, is because, like, what's your, uh, I think I actually did it here in this, in this match a couple, I'll tell you when it comes to the moment. But, okay, good shine, nice laser, nice laser placement, nice, nice crouch cancel shine, that was good. And another nice shine, yeah, nice shield pressure with that Nair. I think you could, probably could have got something there. See, right here, this is the Falcon, this is the Falcon and Wolf. Right here. Let me see if I can get it. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> I like it. that's good, that's good. I like that. I don't like the I don't like the pirate wolf costumes, they make his head look really weird. Really weird and whatever. I like the blue wolf just because I like the blue colors. Most most of the time. Okay, right here. This is what I was supposed to say. This is the Falcon in him. See, the problem with me, the problem with me is I always try and hit people before they hit the ground, out of, after like a back throw or a forward throw or something like that. It happened in the last match. I did a down throw. I did a down throw, and you landed right in front of me. And I tried to hit you with a down smash before you landed, and you teched in place. See, apparently, what Wolf does. Is he's a, a really good at tech chasing. He's a fast character and all. He's got big moves. So he's a tech chaser. I never realized. That. I feel really, really dumb now, because he's a tech chaser and he's got all of these great. He's got like running shine, dash tech, grab, like nair to grab or whatever. Just tech chasing. I don't think of that. I don't know why. I always think gotta hit them before they hit the ground, otherwise it's over. Which is really dumb, cause just tech chasing. And you know what you can get at like that's just like a chic thing too. Just like, okay, if you can't read them with like a dash tag or something, we'll just grab them, pummel them once or twice, do another throw, keep going. And it's just, it makes me feel dumb when I think, oh dude, I should have tech chased that because I totally had that read. 
it makes me feel really dumb. Like, that's what you need to do. Because, see, I had that. See, I didn't I actually don't think I read that. I think I reacted to that. And that's a problem. You need to, like, we need to read and not react. Because then we'll, um... Because then we'll get we'll get caught behind. Because I think if I'd read this tech, I would have got something. But I don't know what. But I think tech chasing is a big thing with Wolf that you may not have thought of. Because you don't hear about tech chasing from Fox or Falcon, really. He's more of a, he's a, he's got, that's the Falcon in him, is that he tech chases. And the inner gems is basically the need. But still, that's that's what I need to work on. I think that's what a lot of Wolf players need to do more is tech chase. Because that's, that's what you have to do at low percent against space is you have to tech chase because you're not going to pop them up high enough to combo them. you got to tech chase those guys to like 20-30 which I hate but whatever and you countered me that shine so that was really good nice back air try nair onto platform cross up nair on platform because uh, that does really good shield pressure and if Alex is right and he says um okay good good side B and you killed it I messed up there that was good though capitalize on that stupid laser that I threw out but Yoshi, Yoshi's all right. Yeah, so you always have to, you always have to short hop, and there's the short hop fair that Chillin wants to apparently steal from me. Nice nair shine. Okay, right, nice double shine too. That was nice. And okay, just dancing around trying to poke, hit pokes. Nice wall ride. That's fair. I right, got my own crouch cancel shine. So. Hey. That shined on me. And... Okay, yeah. So two, on Yoshi's. On Yoshi's. Yeah, his up smash and his up tilt poke through platforms. I don't know if... I don't know if up tilt will poke at the right side where the lip of the stage, like, angles down. Unlike on the left side where it's not angled down. Um... But you can poke through it. I mean, if you pop somebody up as wolf, they're gonna get hurt. So that's... That's something to remember. I just thought that was interesting. That just shows because he's bigger than the other spaces. See, there's another tech chase option, and I screwed it up. That could have been free damage. And random. Nice double shine. Nice shield pressure. And probably not the best punish on me, just because there's a lot more I could have got off that, but whatever. And, okay, so that's also something I see... You see, I was really getting really stupid for these kills, especially because it's friendlies. <laughs> but look, I'm jumping off the stage and dunk trying to dunk, which is kind of dumb because you can meteor cancel it. And also because like, if you had a faster recovery, you could just easily, like, if you, you could easily just like get back up on the stage and you could easily just get back up on the stage and ca catch me coming on my way back in and kill me that way. So I think... Dunking, like jumping off stage and Hail Mary dunking, unless it's someone like Bowser or DK who's got that stupid, stupid huge hurt box that you can do. That you can hit and just like snipe out of nowhere. And that's okay, because what the heck are they going to do? But against faster characters that have like good back airs or something that can wall of pain you or whatever, uh, you don't want to you don't wanna mess with that because you'll die. You're spacey without, potentially without a jump, so you're going to die. Nice back here. Good placement. And then Will's messing with us again. Yeah, you should probably try and use down tilt a lot, because that actually is his farthest reaching move. And I messed that. Okay, I messed that near up. There. Thankfully you air dodged, so I didn't have to worry about it. But yeah, um, down tilt is his farthest reaching move. It, re it actually reaches farther than down smash and forward smash. What? Forward smash might reach farther, but that's just because it moves. But down tilt is kind of, it's like a pop-up, I think, if you hit with his foot. Like, not his ankle or above, but I think if you hit with like, his foot, that it, it is a pop-up. I don't know if it's a pop-up everywhere. But, like, with Wolf, like, pop-up's what you want. Because that's free up airs, forward airs, down airs, back airs, nares. Free anything, pretty much. That's what Wolf wants. This is a good stage for Fox Wolf, because if you're a chain grabber, you'll win, just because chain grab on Wolf this stage. If you don't chain grab Wolf on this stage, you'll lose, probably. See that? Well, <laughs> look at that. Yeah. And this, um, I have one, I actually really like this match. I really like this match a lot. 
because I was a uh, I was a really big Raiders fan. This match, but um, this is a good stage for Wolf as long as he doesn't get chain grabbed. And shine out shield, nice crouch cancel on the shine out shield, and nice back air. And yeah, I know that was supposed to be at the ledge, so you just messed up there. Bad, bad, bad recovery. You don't want to get caught by a down smash. But see, look at all that work. You got me to 145, and then just because of one bad recovery, you got killed at like 70 because of it. <laughs> so look, look at this. So look, 131, messed up on that down smash, probably would have killed me. And then bad recovery. If you're if you're in a pocket where Wolf can move out or any character can move out, never ever ever. You never, ever, ever need to up B just because you're going to be stuck there. You're just going to be hanging out there for a little bit and you're going to get hit. It's, especially with someone with um, big, big hitboxes like Wolf. So, people don't realize it because he's always crouched down and all, but Wolf's actually pretty big. See, look. Boom. You would. See, if I didn't get back in time, you would have lived, but. You would have lived also if you didn't do that up B. I don't think I would have reacted in time to a side B. Okay, bad spot dodge. That's supposed to be a shine out shield. No, there's the wave dash back. Nice read on that get up, on that slow get up. That was really good. Okay, nice drill. Drill to shine. See, shine puts you in knockdown super early, so it's really strong. Okay, nice DI out. Oh, weird spot dodges, but okay. Okay, second place. Okay, pretty even trade. Uh oh. Okay, so yeah, I should have been dead. I should have been. Well, I am dead. I actually remember I died with this still. So, did I mess up with the short one? Yeah. But okay, that was good. That's good though. Ledge stall. Yeah, that that makes sense. That makes a lot more sense. But yeah. See there. That's what happens when you don't miss text. You'll get. Okay, but you didn't die. And here it is. Reverse aerial rush. Okay. The R E R back air. I thought of that because I thought this work. This actually works super good against spaces, but other characters, not unless they're like super heavy characters, doesn't work as much. But, I, even at 100-something, Fox isn't going to die off the top to a strong forward air. So I think, okay, I've got this momentum. i got a free hit right here. Up air? Eh, maybe I can link it into something. But I just thought, man, i got to find something. Because if I can't kill these guys off the top, and I've got this free hit, what am I going to do? And, like I said, should have been dead. And I am, so it's okay. But I think, okay, I've got this free hit just waiting for me. So what do I do? I say, oh, okay, well, I'll just try this. I'll just try this uh, reverse aerial rush back air. And then I tried it, and it just worked wonders. I mean, look at that. No one saw that coming, and you died from it. So it worked. It, I mean, that, that means it worked. I don't know how it works with a uh, Fox Falco or whatever, but uh, you should give it a try just because it's something that's not in melee, so you can. Learn, you can learn more about it, and here it is. Here's what makes it good. Look at that, look what I got off an up throw. And this is what you can do with it against like any spaces, really. It's just look, look, just look what I get off an up throw here. Um, let's, let's see, back air, shine, down air, shine. Let's see, look at that, boom. That's about 30 40 percent. I mean, that's how much you can get off an up throw against spaces as Wolf. That's why it's good for this, this stage alright for him. Nice angle. Really good angle. I thought you were going to go up. And, again, good good hitting me on that. That's actually really good. See, I messed up the reverse arrow rush for there. That would that definitely would have killed. Like, not as in die off the side, but you probably wouldn't have made it back kill. But I messed it up, so go, go me. And good forward to I think up throw definitely would have been better just because I think up air will kill at this percent. But you got but you got that anyway. You clipped me on that up that side B and then you uh, hit me with a back air. So that was good. It didn't matter. You got me anyways. And I actually probably would have hit that if I didn't shorten it. So wolf knowledge, alright. Um and this is when you know you kinda got me scared, I guess would be a good word for it, is when I start double jumping randomly and bad angle, so I'm such a good player. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Alright, 
switching back to the best color in the game, so let's go. Let's see. Okay, running air, great idea. Added me 0%, but okay. Flip the forward smash, that's good, again. Okay, bad walk up by me, I should have ran there. Okay, good tech in place, you pretty much got to punish. Not a big one, but you got to punish. That's what matters. Okay, good, good, good read on that get up attack slash um, get up in place. You just misspaced the up smash at all. So that was, that wouldn't have done a whole bunch, but actually it would have got a decent amount of percent just because you could do up smash or whatever. Nice double shine pressure. And crouch cancel down smash, can't do anything about that. By the way, this is probably my favorite Death Leopard song right now. Uh, okay, nice, nice pressure. See, this is what. It, see, look, what am I? What can I mean? What am I doing besides getting hit? This is what I'm talking about with the with the spacey pressure against Wolf. Because I mean, no one can deal with spacey spacey pressure really, especially not Wolf, because he doesn't have super good out of shield options. But look at this. See, look, what am I doing? I'm just getting hit right now. I'm getting put in a knockdown and stuff. Okay, granted, you got messed up there, but still, that was a good string. That was a really good string. But I couldn't do anything. I was just getting hit. And, I mean, it's not like you, especially as a spacey, you can't freaking take hits in this game. You can't just take a hit and say, no, no big deal. Especially as spacey's. And, once again, tech chase opportunity that I messed up. Because I was trying to hit you before you hit the ground. Okay. I feel cool about that. And, okay, good meteor cancel. And I think I was trying to clip you with, up, with side B, and, and I was going to grab the ledge, but I was uh, not right, clearly. Nice shield on that. And good shine again. Uh, bad trade. Spacey goes off stage, it's a bad trade. I wanted to do a reverse, reverse aerial rush there, but I thought I was either not going to hit it, or even if I hit it, I would die. And I'm going to assume that was another ledge stall attempt. And that's what happens, you got scooped by forward smash. And nice dash dance, okay. Okay, nice and nice. Nice pressure. And you had the right idea. And that was a good shine spike. That was a really good shine spike. That was good. You had good coverage there. Your reaction time's not all that bad. And see, I couldn't do anything. Really. I was just sitting there in shield because I couldn't find anything to do. Okay, so I think I had the tech chase idea there, I just didn't do anything, I felt real smart. Okay, good. That up smash, an up smash would have missed there, but that forward smash hung out there, so you were okay. Up tilt, back air, not what I wanted. But I mean, there's not really much to critique there, because if, if you're uh, fighting Fox, if you're a spacey and you get hit, sent up in the air, you know what's going to happen, you're about to get whacked. Good up smash, though. And back air, caught out, of, and I missed the up smash, okay. And then forward smash, yeah, that's all you need, that percent really. And good block, good shield. Block my down smash, didn't think you'd be able to block that so fast. And good mix up, because I thought you were going to roll away towards the edge of the stage. But you mixed me up there, so that was good. And up throw back air, that's before you get that percent. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, good crouch cancel again. That just makes me sad that my shine can get crouch canceled and Falco's can't. That's just so dumb. Okay, nice dash dancing going on. Okay, I got it. All right, I finally got one. And I actually got really lucky there because if I let go earlier, I would have got hit. Because the only reason I didn't get hit is because he was ducked down and messed up the angle. Could have gone either way. Okay, Fountain of Dreams. I know a lot of melee character players hate this stage. Super good angle. And this stage is actually pretty good for Wolf. Double up tilt. Autopilot on the dash tags. Nice back here to drill. Good up smash. And tournament winner into the shine, but tournament winning punished by me. And up smash, okay. And okay, there it is. There it is. See, I was actually pretty sure that um, if um, 
if you came down with a down air, you might have beat my up air there. But see, I thought that if you didn't, which we can see you didn't, you got caught by that weird angle that killed you because you were at high enough percent and send you at that really awkward angle. Right here. I think that happens everywhere to the left of 12 o'clock. Maybe past 11, or maybe before 11 o'clock. I, I can't, I'm not sure. I'll have to check into it. But like, up air is like, we'll eat spa other spaces. And I, I could tell you reacted to that. And hey, there's my temp chase finally, I guess. And I full hopped, so I didn't get anything off of that. Uh, let's see. Okay, and here's something else you should try. Try this is like one of the, again one of like a way dash back kind of a small thing that really matters. You you can't see it for long, but if you watch right here, whenever I hit you to the left, here look. See how I barely walked up there? Is because I knew if you got up in place or if you rolled to the left, you couldn't get away from down smash or full. You couldn't get away. You may have got away from down smash, but think that I was planning that out because I thought, okay, well, if I move up just a little bit, he's going to get hit by this down smash no matter what's he, what he does. Because if you rolled to the right, you would have got hit by the weaker hit, but still you would have got hit. If you went to the left, you would have got, um, I assumed, which I'm pretty sure I, you wouldn't have got hit, you would have got hit by the front hit, which probably would have killed, no, 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 that wouldn't have killed. But you would have got hit by it sent off stage. Because, see, if I wasn't, you, um, okay, let's just say, after I moved up, you were definitely going to get hit. If I hadn't moved up, I would have got, like, a two out of, I would have got half the options. But see, you, you rolled into it, so I had the options covered there. Yeah, you definitely would have got hit if you got up in place. But let's say you would have gotten hit. You would have got hit either way, because I just optimized the options there. I just optimized all my options. I think um, just once you see it, it's things like that where you get cornered like that. That's where it's really easy to like to um, to limit people's options because they can't really do it. They gotta get up one way or another. Because I remember George. If you don't, I don't know if you know him. He used to play PM. I think he plays just Smash Four exclusively now. I saw him do this to me one time. I was in the corner of the stage, and I was in the corner of the stage. He started charging a forward smash, and like, why the heck is he doing that? And then I realized, oh wait, I'm going to get hit by this. Because when he started charging it, he knew when I'd have to get up. And then I would have got hit by it wherever I went, because he had me cornered. So that's uh, taking a nod from him. Thanks, George. Sorry that I bodied you so hard at Trustful, but hey, shots fired. <laughs> that was mean. Yeah, okay. Down, down, duh. Okay, yeah. Bad shine stall there, but I'm sure you didn't think of a. I'm sure you weren't thinking of um, back air space like that. Just because like this is like this is kind of the same scenario as the RAR back airs. It's because if I hit you with a forward air, that wasn't gonna kill. I wasn't even gonna come close. So boom, kill him off the side. See, you kill him off the side just because you're gonna be more likely to kill spaces off the side as wolf than um than off the top. So that's some that's something. Just like implement more back air, more back air. And I think if I hadn't spaced that so aptly, so meticulously and whatnot, I think I probably would have got hit by that shine too. Cause look, I th I'm this may not have been perfect spacing, but it was dang close. See, I actually didn't think you were gonna shine there, but I think either way you probably would have got hit unless you air dodged. But <laughs> who does that? Okay, but yeah, I don't think you want to be above wolf because you'll get zerged by up airs. Anti-air with a nair. What? Then, okay, jab reset. That's another big thing. This is what Chillin said. I've got a note card. I don't know where I put it, but I got a note card I wrote down that Chillin told me what I need to work on. He said jab resets is one of the big things. And I could have got a better punish than down smash, but it worked. I mean, because you didn't expect it. You got black hole DI'd right there. So, I mean, look at that. 37, 50... Boom, 70%. You got black hole DI'd. I really did not think you were going to make that back. Well, until you landed on the stage. Then I realized he just made that back. But that's um, just... Like, and also, like with Fox, jab, reset, up smash, dude. Jab, reset, grab, up throw, up air. Just... I mean, 
but which I think is kind of dumb about j jab resets is you still have to read if they're going to roll away or not, which is stupid, I think. That defeats the purpose of a reset, sort of, to me. But whatever. Okay, you finally got, you got the up smash there. You kicked me to oblivion. And there you go. Up tilt, up tilt, up smash. Misspaced up smash, but you're B. And, okay. Here's another thing. Um, definitely here. I, if I could get it in the right spot, see, look. Good. Let's see, look. Definitely could have done a lot of things on the edge guard here. Once we get to the dang thing. See, look. And first of all, that was a dumb get up attack. Um, I could have done a lot of things there, but look, I, I could have just back aired, done that reverse up smash, um, forward smash, but no. This is the thing about Wolf, is that he's got really wrong, long reaching moves, and he's got really strong moves, so I just kept it simple, just hit him with a forward tilt. It reaches pretty far, and sends him away, so, I mean, why not? I think I could have done a lot of things, got that, and you weren't going to come back from that. See, because that's just like, you don't have to do anything super fancy. I mean, just, if it can get, if it can net the kill and it's not fancy, just what's more important, the style points or the, or the W? That's just my, that's my thoughts on it. If I don't like you, I'll be fancy. I'll be dang fancy too, but we're friends, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay, good shine spike. Clutch, clutch shine spike there. That's really good. And once again, above wolf, not where you want to be. That's a spacey, especially at mid percents. Okay, there it is again. I missed it. I missed the down smash that time, but jab reset again. And reaching on that double dunk. Although when you get it, it feels pretty good. Platform messed me up there, so that was good for you. Pretty sure. And there's the there there's the down tilt again. Okay, once again reaching. Good good shine spy. I was reaching on that up air, which is really stupid. And randomly have no jump. Randomly no jump, but okay. Good match, good match. And unveiling the Star Fox shirt on the player cam now. Aren't I? I'm some cool guy. Alright, here we go. So don't feel bad about losing Ty and Ike, because Ike is just the new Marth of PM. And considering Marth is like a Fox Slayer, Spacey Slayer, a melee, don't feel bad at, about it at all. Ike is just Marth on steroids, pretty much. Let's see, look. Boom. Just because like, he's Ganon with a sword. You have to respect everything he does just because of how much range and how freaking hard he hits. Because he hits like a dang truck. Let's see. Because you're getting, like, an air is his bread and butter combo move. And just because black hole DI. Look at that. That was a Mar that was totally a Marth thing. Just run out there, hit him, and make it back. That's totally a Marth thing. See, to me, he's either Okay. And here, this is how whenever I play Smash 4 online, I'll play with people. And I'll just like fully charge a forward smash and they'll get hit by it. Cause I mean this in the nicest way possible. People sometimes don't have their priorities straight. Cause they'll think there's no way he's gonna hit me with that. Then they get hit by it and they die. I mean that in the nicest way possible, but that was just kind of to teach you. You need to get, I mean, look, your main focus, if you see someone charging a, a forward smash like that, your main focus should always be, I do not need to get hit by that, because you see what happened. You died because of it, which, I mean, you're going to get, you're going to get character gimmicks playing a character for the first time or one of the first times. You're going to get character gimmicks, so don't feel bad about this match at all. I mean, don't ever feel bad about a, a first match if you get a character gimmick. Don't, never feel bad about that. Never. Just because, look, I don't know, look at that. You died at 6% before the hit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's a different it's a different character, so I mean, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta relearn, readapt and stuff. You gotta really get, gotta get back in the groove of things. You can't just autopilot and win everything. Okay, good. And, okay. 
I mean, yeah, so don't, don't feel bad about that, but yeah. I mean, you've always got your bread and butter stuff, like, uh, like the, that I throw up air that was really good. And, okay. And see, so he's just, because he's got so much range, he's just like, an, he's another Marth and Ganon, pretty much. Just because he's got so much range, and he hits like a dang truck, and you're going to get comboed out of it, so that just makes it even more dangerous when you're nearby him. Which, I mean, I think what you want to do is smother him, just like you would Marth. Pretty much. But don't be brain dead about it, because then you'll get countered. And Ike's counter also. And I'm cool, because I tried to hit you with the spike. <laughs> right. Also, you may not, I don't know if you know this, but the last spin on Aether, his up B, doesn't have a hitbox. So that's how you're supposed to edge guard it. So I guess like Nair out of shield or something out of shield if you want to like block all the hits when it's coming up. Or you can like run in Nair or whatever. I don't know. Just whatever you want. Just know the last hit doesn't have a hitbox on it so you can run out and hit him out of it. I don't know if you watched my match against the uh, Zelda player that I played in tournament. But he didn't know that and I like bodied him. Well I didn't body him. He was actually really good. But he also had a dumb character. Okay there it is. Okay there's, a, there's another Marth Falcon, Marth Falcon thing is I baited that get up attack. And I knew if you got up in place or you get up attacked, okay, I'll just jump over your head and hit you with a forward air. Just because I knew, like I said, Ike hits like a truck and we were over pretty far, we were off the stage boundaries pretty much. We were off the stage, a little more to the right, so I knew this is probably going to kill. And, see, boom. And then even if I hit it on shield, I could have like ran off or I could have like jabbed or grabbed or something. Also, um, do you want me to do you want me to um, critique all these, all the matches, like even the ones you played against that guy from Muscle Shoals, or do you just want me to skip those or like stop at those or do whatever? Cause I can I can do all of them if you want me to. I don't mind. It's not a problem. All right, will do. Okay, give me just a second. I think this play rep, this playlist is getting thin. This is also one of my favorite songs I've heard of lately. I've heard lately. Be on this. Sorry. I think it's just kind of weird when it's dead silence, but maybe that's just me. It probably is, actually. Usually it is. Okay, my B. Okay, here we go. Okay, Fox Ike again. Alright. You might should consider, actually, no. Um, you're just like you're a spacey player through and through, right? Or is it like just solid fox or what? I'm trying to make like I don't. I usually actually don't think it's a good idea to. Okay, okay. I just want to say that forward smash was really stupid because it hit behind me. Sure, he heaves the dang sword behind his head and all, but I mean, it's not like it's broken enough in the front hit box and it's gonna kill from behind. Or whatever. That just seems kind of broken. Because you can read two tech options with it. Two and a half, pretty much. Which is dumb. Well, it's not dumb, but... I guess you can say it's... It's dumb. <sighs> no, I don't think it... I usually don't think it's a good idea to play your melee character. Which, I mean, I know what you just say sometimes... Well, you know, it's just not a wolf day, so you play Fox. I mean, Fox is still solid, yeah. But I just don't think it's usually a good idea to play your, um... Gosh, that's so dumb. I usually just don't think it's a good idea to play your melee character or your Smash 4 character in a different game or whatever, just because it'll mess you up, but and that's just me. If you want to hear Tournament Winner, <laughs> and Tournament Winner by me, too, <laughs> but, um, what, uh, I, I pick the hybrids just because they're not in any other games, really, so, 
I, I think if you just want to pick up another PM hybrid character or whatever, just let me know and I'll try and make suggestions. Nice up smash. And then another good up smash. Forward air to shine. Okay, custom combos. Really, really pretty. And terrible. Great read by me. And forward air. Back air. Nice and air. Shine. Nice! That was really solid string. That was really nice. And dash attack. Ooh, nice shine clock. Nice shine there. That was dirty. Yeah, I guess a lot of people missed the tech on that down air. Because that's the only re if you tech that I don't think I don't think I would have hit you with that up smash. That's what Ally does a lot, is he'll catch people on the bounce up and he'll kill them that way. Should probably be smarter to do a down smash because it's faster. Let's see, boom. See, I like covered. I can cover an entire. I can cover every option except get up attack on that platform. Uh, you might should try Ike, just because he's still a really fast character and all. He's still pretty technical. And he, he's a dang good character too, so you might should try him. See, look, this nair on platform. I, I covered every option right there except except get up attack, which if you get up attack, I would have got hit. I'm pretty sure. But it didn't matter which where you teched, you would have got hit by that nair one way or another. You would have got hit at the very beginning in the back, or you, if you teched this way, to the right, or you um, would have got hit by the end hitbox because it goes around like that, and um, you would have got popped up. But everything I had everything because that's just the good thing about the sword users. It's because they just have a lot, so much range. They can do stupid things like this. stupid good things like this. And kind of just okay, nice, nice, nice down air reset. And tried to intercept with a forward tilt, messed it up. Who all, who all, who all plays, uh, who all plays Ike in a, um, in in Hassle besides um, besides Eric. I know I played him a long time. I played his Ike a long time ago, and it was pretty solid. And I see. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Jude does play. I played Jude. His Ike was really good. I didn't Ike did him though. That is a third of my crew, pretty much. That is that is my crew. That is my entire crew, right now, just because everyone's gone home. Oh, this is about to get ugly. Okay. Had I charged that, I definitely would have hit that. I definitely would have hit that if I charged it, because I forward smash. Okay, but yeah, these counters, I, I think I got a lot of counters this match, and that's just because you're like me, you have one direction, and that's, you have one gear, and that's forward. You're like me. So, getting countered is definitely something that I'm prone to falling into. I'm PC Chris Incarnate. Also, if you hear any songs that you like, if you listen, if you are actually listening to the music, let me know, and I'll I'll hit you up the name and, I'll, and the artist and all. Went deep for that, and had you angled that right, I would have paid for it because I would have got hit. So just going deep's not always it's it's a bad sign if you go deep, whether you're ahead or behind going deep. Well, if it's if you're ahead and you're going deep, or it's like even and you're going deep, uh, suck kick kill. <laughs> if you're ahead, you're and you're going deep. That's kind of a bad sign. But if you're behind, you kind of have to go deep. So it's not a terrible sign. Nice shine pressure here, because I know you like wave shine me across the whole stage once or twice. Also, Ike's just a lot of fun to play. And so I think that's why I like him, him, Wolf, and DK so much, is because he's fun to play. Because I have a lot of fun. Boom! Going deep. Got him that time, though. <laughs> Dirty. Which is like, Ice got this little, he's got this, um, he's got this, uh, this zone, where if he goes past that zone, whether it's vertical or horizontal, actually, if it's diagonal, he, there's a zone that if he goes past this little zone, he can't make. He's not gonna make it back. So you have to be very, very frugal on your um, going deep. If you're not, you're not gonna make it back, and you're gonna die. 
And nice tomahawk. You gotta, you gotta kill off that tomahawk, so that's good. And my raw forward smashes don't always work. Looks like the preacher man charm wore off on his forward smashes. Okay, nice run, just running around. Easy, easy, the easy stuff. The forward throw, up throw up airs. The easy, simple stuff. So here it is. It seems like I was trying to DI as much as I could. And there's a Marth thing again. There's another Marth thing. I mean, like I said, you gotta hit that. Which I mean, that diagonal pocket that I'm talking about where I can't make it back is still kind of a deep pocket. So I'm not saying you need to re recover that way every time. But I think you just have to be very, very detailed on your recovery against Ike just because if you try and go over him you gotta really commit to that because if you don't go over him that forward air is gonna ruin you if you go below him like I don't think there's any middle level you have to go I think you have to pick high or low I think that's what it is because that forward air will ruin you if you get hit by it because look it killed you right there because of that of charging that up B Yeah, I, I think that's just a spacey thing. You can't do everything frame. You're not. It's not like it's easy to be frame perfect. So, it's not like you can perfectly hit finishers every time. And up smash actually doesn't kill like a hundred on Ike anyways, because he's a lot heavier than you think he is. I think that would have been. Yeah, I think grabs like up throw up air, up throw back air, or something like that. I think that would have been the better option, just because um, up throw up air may have killed. I don't think it would have, but. It may have, and if not, it would have put me in a bad situation. So, either way. I mean, it's a spacey thing. You're not going to get it perfect every time, just because it's a spacey thing. But see, here's the, Mar here's the Marth thing. Look. Read that recovery, and you died at 50. At like 50 or something like that, because I just like things, I guess. I'm so cool. I mean, but it's just... It's it's spacey melee spacey versus new Marth pretty much so I mean you gotta expect things like that I guess and Ike's not gonna catch Fox I really think Fox is faster than Captain Falcon just cause fast baller low aerial lag high running speed that's just what I think I have that theory that may just be a Jake exclusive I see I, I tried to and I'm so good <laughs> that, that tech just tickles me to death every time I see it. So I tried to go deep and gimp you again, because I got that last one. And so I figured, okay, just hit him, done. Stock gone. I feel cool because I got that tech, cause, but then I wall bounced it, and he's got Marth Syndrome, so whether I side beat or waited and up beat, I wasn't going to grab that. I'm so good at this game. There, out of nowhere. And then the jump cancel grab is always a good mix up. And nice punish by me. Nice spacing on that up smash. And see, this is what I'm talking about. I had no shield, so I just have to randomly go in deep again. Nice ledge deal there. And Randy forward air. I really thought I was going to get that ground. Randy forward air again. Ooh. Okay, that was good. Let's see, there it is. I read some... I don't know... I didn't know what it was going to be, but I read that there was going to be some sort of attack. Let's see, here's that shield pressure again. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I said earlier, is that he's got, um... After the last swing, he's vul... Did I say that to you? I can't... Well, I can't remember. But yeah, on the last swing, he's he's vulnerable because he's got um because he doesn't have a hitbox on his last swing and tournament winning jump. All right, I'm so good. Oh, all right, four tilt and missed the other four tilt, but ooh, Ike's got me. Oh yeah, yeah, you can kill it really easy on it just because. I mean, like you said, you've been practicing melee for a while, so no big deal. And here's another thing. This was like a tomahawk. 
If I came down with an aerial, I was going to get hit. But whether you swung or like wave dash backed or what, I was going to hit you with that because it has armor on it, which is not super broken, but it's still pretty useful. I, granted, I didn't really get anything. I got 14% off of it, but still, I saved myself from potentially getting hit. And you don't want to get hit on your last stop, even if it's friendlies. And Ike versus Spacey stuff. And I'm so good with these four smashes. And like just to show you how good um just to show you how good Ike is against Spacey's and once again, one gear, that's forward. And just to show you how good like I told you earlier how Brian Zoma's Fox was pretty much rocking my wolf. I was pretty much rocking him with Ike. So I think just having, and this is just my suggestion to a lot of PM players that play melee mainly, is like pick up these hybrids because they're really good. They're really good and they're really similar to your character, so you can transfer things. I guess that's why you played Wolf because he's a hybrid and he's a good character and all. He's a hybrid and he's a lot of spacey stuff. So and I would suggest though, Ike fits my style really well, so that's why I picked him up. So. He might fit your style, so you might should like ask Eric or Jude or somebody to if if you can try him a time or two. But that's just my suggestion, just because I figured I need three characters instead of two. Cause DK is pretty much low tier now because they neutered his grab range. And Wolf I mean has f flaws which everyone does, but 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 still, I figured having one more character is not gonna hurt me. Cause I mean that's what M2K does. Granted he's not the best anymore, but still even got him a long way having those three characters. And yeah, this is how late up smash kills. Look at this. That didn't kill to like a hundred and uh, past a hundred. And, and that wasn't stale because you were fresh on that stop. That's how heavy Ike is. He's solid muscle, and he's about the same height as me. That's about six feet. So he's not, he's a big guy. And this is an alright Ike stage, I think. Just because Marth stuff works. But I'm not super good on big, small stages. I'll play Wolf on this stage, but I don't think I'll play Ike. I might play Ike just because the walls. Tournament winning back here for me. And hey, there's the wave dash back again. There's the there's the wave dash back. It got it netted me a grab. Didn't net me a lot of damage, but it got a grab. And I guess to Spacey, that's not what you want to happen to you, whether it's a good punish or not. And good punish by me again. Stellar punish by me. Zero percent. And good shine spike. And good capitalization on that bad recovery by me. Shield grab, a bait versus hacks, dash attack to shore you, and back air. Okay, yeah, Yoshi, it's gonna kill us super early. But I'll probably die to an up smash, raw up smash right now. Bad trade. Okay, okay. And get up attack kill. Wow, I'm so good. <laughs> that was funny. Alright, up through to <laughs> up air reset. And had I not turned this around, I might have hit it. Because it's got a bigger hitbox on the end than the front, I think. I feel like it should at least. Nice blowing out in the back air. So Randy Ford air again. Bad trade, bad trade. Okay, nice nair. You can just nair through everything I do, pretty much. Except forward air, probably. Good shine spike. I think he ate my jump right as you hit me. Let's see. <laughs> that get up attack was too good. But that was a nice double shine spike there. Get up attack's broken. We gotta note that. <laughs> and it worked too. <laughs> But that was a nice double shine spike, and I'm so good on Randall shenanigans that I decided to just say we out. Because we definitely were out right there. Out of stocks.
And Dreamland is an alright Ike stage. It's alright. It's got walls, but it's also got huge blast zones, so I may not make it to the walls. And great punish again by me. I'm so good. Okay, I had that. Okay, I had that one. I, I, felt, I feel good about that. Alright. Back here. Just these pokes. Alright, yeah. Thanks, skin. Just sword characters versus spaces there. And going deep again. Should have died there, really. Okay, crouch cancel the. Okay, that was good. Nice reaction there. I see you on that shine spike again. Counter jab. Alright. Go. Alright, once again, one direction and that's forward. There. I mean, it's not as evident when it happens once or twice a match, but when they matter, good back air there. But when they matter with things like, like you just died to a counter, I think. I think that's I think the counter's what you died to, but still, you just died due to a counter. And last minute back air, okay. Okay, good up smash, nice shine. And up air, should have waited for you to land there. Thought I'd hit you before you landed there. Nice up air, you don't seem to miss those that much. That's good. And here it is. There was the wall. You could you couldn't see it. You could hardly hardly see it. But here's the walk that I was. Here's the walk I was talking about earlier. And hopefully, just a second. If I didn't rewind it too much. So look, here it comes. Here it comes. Just look closely. You can barely see it, but it will happen. Look. There. There. You barely saw it. But see, Ike's forward smash has so much range because of the back hit on it. And I don't think your get-up attack would have reached me either. So basically, I think you were screwed there. <laughs> basically, I think that's basically what it came down to. Because if I was back, if I didn't do that little bit of walk that I did, I don't think I was gonna hit you if you rolled away or got up in place. And see, wall jump barely made that. Barely made that wall jump. I see you on the shine spike. And then counter the up smash again. Alright. And through there. Alright, nice. If I wave dash back, I could have got uh, out of the quick draw. I could have got that grab. I didn't. Ooh. I'm gonna assume that was a failed uh, a B stall. Probably was. Uh, let's see. Nice wave shining. And I'm a cool guy. Yeah, that's, that, that's, that is probably one of the better things to do. Because I'm very reaction, I have good reactions. The walk jump scared me. Yeah. The, the, that stuff is, a uh, it is hard to deal with. It is hard to deal with that kind of stuff sometimes. Like, uh, what did you die to here? I mean, it's not like you wanna. I mean, it's not like you wanna mess with Ike's moves because he, like I said, he hits like a dang truck. So it's not like you wanna. It's not like you wanna try and take these hits. And the cool RB spike comes up. All right, solid match overall. That was good. You kept it honest. And off to find out who called my name. And okay, back to Wolf Fox. Okay, can't let you do that. It's kind of like that. That's so cool. Pretty neutral stage. It's more than a stage, so a. <clears throat> See, there's the short hop to fair. I got an extra hit off that. I think if I'd up aired, that would have been a lot better. And right now, not a lot to critique just because you're getting a wolf comboed and eh. it's not like there's it's not like there's anything on space you can do. And then again, tech chase didn't do it. And good get up attack. 
and what a good stall by me. And I wish I could say I did. Okay, good trade. Super good trade there. I'd take that trade any day of the week if I were you. And edge guarding with down air, I actually did not think is a great idea because it puts you at a lot of risk. Yep, imagine this. The, the preacher man is a fan of ACDC. Imagine that. And got lucky on that jab reset. Nice little throw up smash. Just crouch cancel on that, that get up attack. And go deep for that shine spike. I, I can't say I agree with it because you missed, but if you hit it, I agree with it every day of the week. And you kind of, well, I don't think you died because of, because of it solely, but it didn't put you in a good situation. Finally got my jab reset again. Could have made a better punish, but okay, got the nair on the platform. And got a lucky inner gems, alright. Lucky stage scar inner gems. And bad tech read on my heart. Really thought I was gonna get that shield grab though. Fair stuff, I guess, Chiller really likes. Shouldn't make that back. Yeah, I did not. Okay, good, good, good on that back air. Right, there's the wave dash back again. Didn't get me a lot, but it got you off the stage, and that's what matters in spacing matches. And you reach for that down air, but I got it, so I'll take it. And I think this might be the last match. Yeah, I think, yeah, this is the last match, I think. Alright, here we go. Kippy Cat moment right here. Boom. Yeah, I, I thought when you, when you missed that Meteor cancel, I figured, nah, that wasn't an accident. He totally did that. He totally didn't cancel that on purpose. Because you've gotten all the meteor cancels except for that one. And then here it is, Wolf versus Spacey. He's just juggle them all day like a Marth chain grab. That was like 0 to 94. It'd just be a lot better if I won this game. And there you go, you get, held that ledge. That was good. This match was really good. It was really hard hitting. Does the fact that you won this match have to do with why it's your favorite? <laughs> Let's see, okay, I gotta shine out shield finally. And okay. And you've kept this pretty even. I finally got it. Finally finally didn't super angle it, so I finally got that. <laughs> I think if I had four day that would have been a lot better. But okay, this is good. Let's see. There's drill shine there. Up smash, forward smash. I probably would have gone for another up smash or something, but that's just me. Up there. And I messed the messed up the RAR back air again. Just got an RAR in there that almost killed me. And flashy looking recovery. Nice nice job. Okay, good down smash. That was really good. That was really nice. And <laughs> up air kill. <laughs> I thought I was Wolf, not Fox. Nice. There you go. Sniped. That was really sweet. That was smooth. 
That was pretty smooth. That sniped me out of the side B. That's pretty. That's actually also a pretty gutsy thing to do too. And the fact that you got it made it even better. But uh, really, I think all that, all the play was pretty solid. All, all of it, I think, was really, really solid. Really solid stuff. And um, I think it's just like jab resets. And like maybe like DI, maybe it's and like like I think basically the simple the simple small things that you don't think about like wave dash back or like jab reset so like DI and like just respecting some things I think that's mainly what you need to work on because most decisions you made were actually pretty solid pretty solid stuff I mean, they're just some small shortcomings. But I think overall you play you played really solid. Is there anything you wanna ask me or anything else you want me to like look at or anything? Alright man, well then, if there's anything else you want me to look at some other time, or uh, or um, you want any advice on anything, just let me know and I'll be glad to help you man. Um, just yeah, shoot me a message on Facebook or whatever, and um, like you just did. <laughs> Yeah, just let let me know if there's anything else you want me to look at, and I will certainly do what I can to help you. Not a problem at all. Take it easy, man. <laughs>